So at this point, we've covered everything that you need to know for the most part to get your first skill up and running based on a template. And what we're gonna do in this lesson is recap and walk through all of the steps. And I'm also going to talk about how you would go about beta testing skills and uh, also discuss the process of getting the skill certified if you wanna develop a, a skill that's gonna be public. So. We're gonna start with the Alexa Skills Kit CLI, and I'm gonna use the Ask New, and we're gonna use a template. And there is a template that Amazon provides called Team Lookup. And this is like a, a company directory skill. And so we're gonna use that one for our example here. And so what, after you select the template that you want to work with, uh, and most of the templates provide, if you look, there's like a readme file and you can go preview like this to read about the template and there's instructions for um, setting the template up and all of that good stuff. The things that you're going to want to do, um, you're going to want to modify the Lambda code and the, the goal of this course was to, um, to, to not get into the, the coding part uh, so much. So we are in the code, of course, here, but we're not really writing code uh, so much as just um, finding the, the pieces that need to be edited if you're working with a template. And with this template and most of the templates, they're very well documented. So you can read the comments and uh, sort of navigate your way through what needs to be done. And between the comments and the code and the README file, you should be able to, uh, to, to uh, navigate easily through this. Um, but in this template, the um, team lookup template, there is it, most of what you're gonna need to do is just change the uh, references to the people. So they've got the development team and the, the Alexa team in here, and you can um, copy and paste and, and change this to add your own team members in here. And then um, further down, there's like the skill name, you can change that and you can change the welcome messages and um, pretty much anything that you see that's in quotes is uh, something you can change. And then I think they say, yeah, so this comment here, so caution editing, any, editing anything below this line might break your skill. So if you're not comfortable coding uh, yet, uh, you can just avoid changing any of this stuff down here. If, um, if, if you are comfortable coding or, or you want to uh, start learning that, templates are great because all the code is provided in all the templates. And so you can uh, come and look through the code here to uh, get familiar with what's going on. And if you wanna build your own skill, you can either build it directly based on a template or use some of the code in the template to um, uh, build your own custom skills. So a lot of times they, for me, will act as a, a reference, you know, so you can see how one skill does something and then use that in the skill that you're creating. So uh, once you've modified the Lambda code, the next thing that you would do is uh, modify the model here. So uh, assuming that you're not making any major code uh, changes, all you would need to modify in the model is just the invocation name. So the name that you're going to use or the user is going to use to uh, start the skill up. And then the last thing is the skill.json here. So this is all of the setting information that's going to be um, used in the Alexa developer console. So this is going to provide the, the name of the skill here, and you can change that, and the description, um, the example phrases. So you're going to want to go through and edit all this. You're probably going to want to provide your own icons, and so you would um, use uh, 108 by 108 is the small icon, uh, 108 pixels by 108, and then the large icon is 512 by 512. So you would want to provide a URL to the icons that you're going to use for your skill. And then um, at this point, once you've modified everything, then you would just deploy it. So you would move into the team lookup folder. And just do ask deploy. Like that.
and the um, CLI is pushing the skill out to the developer council and then building the interaction model, which takes a minute. And then it's also going to deploy the Lambda function. And while that's happening, let me show you one other resource that you, uh, you might want to use. If you go to alexa.amazon.com and log in, this is going to provide you uh, with the equivalent of what you get in the Alexa or in the Echo Alexa companion app for the Amazon Echo. So if you've got an Amazon Echo and you've installed the app for iOS or for Android, this is going to provide the same kind of uh, functionality. So this is where you would go and search for and enable skills and also on the home screen where you would see any cards. So if, the, if in a skill you can write back information to the companion app using cards and uh, you can see this is a card that was written back earlier when we were working with the hello world skill and so if you want to test that you can use the alexa.amazon.com to uh, to do that the other thing worth pointing out in here so if you're um, wondering if the name a name that you want to use for a skill has already been used. You can search here for skills and find similar skills if you're trying to get inspiration or if you're trying to make something that's a little bit different and wondering if somebody's already built it. And then over here, um, your skills, this is going to be a list of skills that you have enabled. And then you'll see under dev skills, any skills that are in development. And so like here's our team lookup skill here. And I would bet by now this is all deployed. And it is, okay. So the next thing that we would do, once the, um, once the skill is deployed, then we're ready to invite some beta testers. And then once we get the beta testing process done and we've gotten the feedback that we need, then we're ready to uh, deploy it to the public skill store. Or maybe you just wanna deploy it as a company skill and I'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna do that from in the developer council here. So once you, um, once you've uh, deployed the skill, you can go back into the developer council and here you would edit, go to edit for our team lookup. And then you're gonna go to, so we, we test ourselves while we're in development, um, but then we also wanna beta test. And to do that, we would go to launch here and provide all of the uh, the details for the skill. And, and this is the stuff that we provided inside the alexa.json uh, file. So here's like the reference to the image that are provided. We would change those, of course. The only thing that is not provided, at least in this one, is the, uh, the, the privacy policy URLs, because these are gonna be the URLs that uh, would point to your privacy policy, of course. So. I'm going to do mine and also to your terms and conditions. So you, you, these are required. You need these if you're going to publish the skill. So you need something out there and then save and continue. And then there's some questions about um, that you need to answer for the certification process. Does the skill allow users to make purchases or spend money? You want to go through and answer all these and provide any testing instructions that if there are any, any special instructions that you would want the testers to know and then save and continue. And then the last step here is to uh, choose how you want to publish the skill. And so you can publish it publicly in the skill store and this would make it available for anybody to enable. You can publish it for just your organization. Uh, you would need to have um, Alexa for Business set up to, to do that. Um, or you can use the beta test option here. And so to beta test, you provide your email uh, and you're gonna be the administrator. So whatever your email is, and then down here, you would provide a list of email addresses for each one of the beta testers. And you can upload a, a list in a CSV format, or you can enter individual email addresses uh, separated by a semicolon, and you can have up to 500 of those. The email address needs to be an email address that corresponds with an Amazon account that is associated with either you know, an, an Amazon developer account 
or one that's used for an Amazon Echo. Uh, and then the user or the beta tester is gonna get an email. And in the email, there's a link that they can use to enable the skill. And when they enable the skill, it will show up in their skill list as a skill that's in development also. So these are some skills I was invited to, uh, to test, which is why they're showing up. And so if you got an invitation uh, or your, once your users get an invitation, then they would be able to test the skill using their Amazon Echo, uh, even while it's in development before it's publicly available, just like you can test it as the developer. So um, that is the process for uh, configuring the skill start to finish or using the template and then configuring it for beta testing. And once you're done with the beta testing, at this point, you just save and continue to submit the skill for, if you wanted to go public, to submit the skill for certification. And the certification process is um, pretty quick. It's like a, a couple of days at the most, usually. And if the, the skill, if there's a problem with certification, the response back that you get is um, very detailed in my experience. So they'll tell you exactly why, if it fails certification, why it failed and what you need to do to resolve that. And um, yeah, so that is it. At this point, again, you have everything that you need to get your first skill up and running based on a template. And that is where we're going to, to wrap up in the next video. I'm just going to do a high level recap and talk about some resources and some things and kind of next steps that you might want to, uh, to take a look at or that you might be interested in.